Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying dollars. And here I have a one dollar bill. It's paper money. Or it's, well, this is not a real, it's just a printout. But that's what it looks like. And it is worth one dollar, which is also hundred cents. It is worth hundred cents and it is one dollar, okay? In other words, one dollar equals hundred cents. And this is how we write it. In front of the number one, we put this S with a line through it. And that means dollars. So dollar and one, but we read it one dollar. Whereas hundred cents, the symbol for cents comes after the number. Look over here, I have a five dollar bill. So we write five dollars or it is worth five hundred cents. Notice carefully how this symbol for the dollar comes in front of the number. Whereas the symbol for cents comes after the number. Now let's say that we have this kind of money amount. There's one dollar and then there's a quarter and two pennies. This is how we write it. We write it with the dollar symbol in front and then one for the dollars. And then the cents. We write the cents after a point. There's a point. A decimal point and then we have 25 and 2 we have 27 cents so we write 27 here okay one dollar 27 or one dollar 27 cents let's do this one too this is now meaning a five dollar bill this one here and then we have 50 60 cents right five dollars and 60 so I put the dollar symbol first and then the dollars, five dollars, and then a point and then the cents, like that. Maybe you want to try to figure out this one. How much money? We need to write it as a dollar amount like this, where we have the dollars and cents and the point. It's easy to see we have three dollars, right? Three dollars. So I will write the dollar symbol first and then three and then my decimal point and then over here 25 and five more would be 30 and then 40 and six. 46. Over here I don't have any dollars any dollar bills, okay? I just have coins. But we're gonna now write this amount, the money amount, in two different ways, using the dollar symbol and using the cent symbol. But let's first count how many cents do we have? 25, 35, 45, and then there's five pennies. 45 and five pennies makes 50, and then three more, so 53 cents. So I can write it, as 53 and then the cent symbol 53 cents but I can also use the dollar symbol like this dollar symbol and then I have zero dollars so I write zero for the dollars and then the point and then the cents 53 okay so this also means 53 cents what if we only have three cents okay I can write three cents but I can also use the dollar symbol, like this. Dollars, and there's zero dollars. And then the point. And then comes something that sometimes is a little confusing. You cannot write three alone here. We actually always need to use two digits after the decimal point. So I need to write zero three. Okay, take a note of that. You need to learn that well. Now how about here? How much money do we have? 50. These make 50 together. So 50 and 50 makes a dollar. And then 20 and 30. So did you get $1.30, right? So $1.30. Over here, this is going to be a little tricky. So try it on your own first and then let's see together. Over here, a dollar, right? Four quarters makes hundred cents. 
100 cents is one dollar. And then my decimal point, and then seven cents. Again, you cannot just write seven right there. You need to use two digits. So you need to put zero seven there. Okay, one dollar seven cents. Lastly, we are gonna draw the money. Basically, I'm gonna draw bills and uh, coins for this amount. But you can pause the video and think for a little bit. What would you need to make this money amount? Is that Matthew? Matthew's saying he didn't get to do anything in this video. So can he draw? What do you think? We let Matthew draw, sure. Come on and draw. What would we need for that amount? Matthew, you know, that's a good idea. Except that kind of a bill for four dollars does not exist. You know, the United States hasn't printed that kind of bills. So you can't do that. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, you need to use one dollar bills. And then your cents, 86 cents, what would you draw? Oh, he's tired. <laughs> oh, well, I'll finish. Okay, what did you get done? 50, 60, 70, 80. Six more, so we get five. And let's use this nice brown one for a penny. Ten dollars, nine cents. And no, Matthew, we don't need to draw ten one dollar bills. Though we could. There's a quicker way. We can use a five dollar bill, for example. Or we could use a ten dollar bill. But let me use this now. That's our ten dollars. And then nine cents. Right? There's five. And then... Then just a bunch of pennies. And we're all done with this lesson.